All right, so it is in fact down here. If I wanted to mess with it. That said, dude, spooky. I don't know. Screw it. Sun cost fallacy. We're here already. I'm gonna keep going until I get eaten, or I find all of the uh, all of the sea truck bits that I'm looking for anyway. We want the fabricator module. Here we go. This looks like it. Well, this is not how I was expecting to find gold. But I found a straight up ore vein. Alright. Grand scheme of things, that's pretty dang fortuitous. Inventory is full. Uh... Get rid of all the titanium. In retrospect, do not poop where you eat. Because then that happens. How many diamonds do I need? How much of anything else do I need? I don't know, but you know what? I'm fine. Now I have more diamonds than I know what to do with. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Snag you. Hydrothermal vent. Cool. Okay. Now time to ascend and probably get eaten on the way up. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, not seeing much more. Gosh, the inclusion of these these oxygen plants just makes exploration in this game feel so much better. Yeah, pretty sure all of these are just limestone outcrops. I was hoping to get some more gold, but I'm I'm a happy camper. I, f I feel like I got everything that I could have possibly wanted out of this zone. I know there's a couple of locations that I still can find, probably. We'll come back later when I have a vehicle. For, you know, extra safety. What if infinite storage space? I actually tried getting uh, mods working so I would have more inventory space, but I, uh... Man, this whole surface business is just kind of... It sucks. Like, underwater is nice and peaceful. You get up and it's just like, good luck seeing anything out here. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It is frozen north. Okay. Nope. Inventory is full. We'll have to go out and grab some food. That said, food and water is not that demanding in this game. I was really expecting to, it to be that much more, like, pushy. Uh, it was, it was not bad. Now, here's the real question. When do I get the, uh, the battery recharger? Because, I don't know about you guys, I absolutely despise, uh, having a bunch of dead batteries just sitting around in my inventory or in my storage. It's just like, I, I would very much like, oh. Scaly Ma an Anemone. Cool. Like, it just feels wasteful to make another one. Alright, quick triops. Alright, where are you? Why don't you bottom feeder, I guess? Uh, let's see. So, downside to all of this... Inventory is pretty dang full. It's full of the good stuff. The stuff that I need, but it's pretty full. Let's see, what if I wanted to get another one of those? I need four. I'm just gonna start with this storage. Alright, pop out. Eventually we'll have the, uh, this... 
the sea truck and that'll make my life a lot easier. Uh, or okay. This is probably more diamonds that I will need for a considerable amount of time. Same thing with lithium. Oh, are gel sacks just edible? Maybe they're used for other things. They gotta be used for other things. Okay, so what do I need for... What is this? Aerogel. But we need rubies. Okay. So I just need copper wire, which I should have... Some. Not much, but I got some. Yeah, edible in a pinch. Useful for exploring that area for long periods of time. If I really got the, the munchies. Uh, oh, right. We made the computer chip, but what we really need is the lube and the titanium ingots. I'm going to put both of those outside. There we go. Oh, and a small wealth of spare copper. There we go. It's weird. This game really does mix the, uh, the feeling of tension with just, like, absolute placid relaxation. I just feel very chill playing this. Until I don't. And then I feel very freaked out. Okay. Modules expand. Vehicles. Sea truck. So we need advanced wiring kit, glass, lead, power cell. I guess really we have all of those things except for the advanced wiring kit and the power cell. So let's take a look at we need those. Oh. Quick thing. Can I pin this blueprint? Pin recipe. There we go. Okay, time to find out if I can make either of these. Okay, so we can make plasteel. Not the most useful. So advanced wiring kit needs a wiring kit and a computer chip. So I'm going to need some copper wire and power cell just needs silicone. Ah, and I can also use my dead batteries. Not that I have too many dead batteries. I'm glad it doesn't judge me on these things. Okay. Alright, let's open up this butt. We don't need any, any of this. Okay. Resources, make a power cell. Power cell is good. Uh, let's see, so we need a computer chip. And then a wiring kit, which needs silver ore, which we don't have. Okay, I got salt deposit, I got glass. Quartz, fiber mesh, lead. And yeah, we didn't find a whole lot while we were out there. So I guess I'll just clear my inventory to some degree. We should probably eat some food before we go too far. You know what? Here's the other thing. Let's grab all these flares and put them in a storage. Because I don't need them. Hey! What's up, Dane? Is this not the game that came out like six years ago, or is this something else? Uh, this is the sequel. So, interestingly enough, uh, this game actually started as a... as like an expansion. And they're just gonna... they're gonna just sell it as a DLC. Uh, tacked on. And then, I guess it just got bigger and bigger until the point where they're just like, Alright, you know you know what? Never mind, it's a full game now. Um, and personally, I'm thankful for it. This game is really good. And by by really making it kind of its, a, a standalone, uh, unique thing, uh, they've packed on some extra features. It still feels very similar. Um, and... You know, maybe not a sequel in the same way that, like, Halo 2 was a sequel to Halo 1. Um, 
But it still feels pretty dang good. You never played the first one. Dane, I... I would say you'd like it, but I... I'm not necessarily sure of your survival game slash horror preferences. Uh, but I would say that it's like an incredible experience and really solid. So... New creature discovered. I highly recommend it, all the same. Like I have, uh... uh Oxygen. Thank you, Titan Hole Fish. He's so cute! He has no idea, I just... Oh. He's a little friend. A symbiote. Oxygen. Oh, he looks freaky. Oh, sea monkey yoinked it. Is what it is. Okay. Am I going the right direction? I'm probably going to end up in a wildly different biome here. Anyway, uh, a series that I want to do sooner than later is kind of my own personal list of games that I consider to be unmissable. Um, oh! Hey, this is, this is one of the other biomes that I've been meaning to go to. Well, it's got silver. So I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Perfect. Whoa, what the hell is this? Propulsion cannon fragments. Oh. Sea monkey nest, go figure. What is this? Salt deposit? Yeah. Sea monkeys are cute. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen okay, remaining. Okay, let's grab this. But, as far as, like, games that I consider to be unmissable, I would say Subnautica 1 and Below Zero absolutely rank up in there. Just because of how well made they are. Oh, this is Calvarite. With some gold? Okay. Okay, what we need is silver, Warning. though. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'll probably ditch some of the titanium as I go along. What we really need is the arginite. Okay. Altera beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta Station Dock. Where are you? Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Okay, only thing I don't like about this cave? Kind of hard to navigate. Is very maze-like. It's very maze-like, but it's not so bad. Right. Cavity no, intake recommended. Now I'm getting hungry. Alright, so we've got kind of the bare minimum of Warning. what I need. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'll just make do with what I got for now. So is Alan going to be a bad guy in the end? I don't know if he's capable of being strictly bad. Or if it's going to be more of a feeling of like... He just didn't give a shit. And may screw over the main character as a result. I guess the really question, uh, the question is there, are they going to go the Johnny Silverhand route? Oh, 
Okay, so we got some food. Probably snag some more as I go by. Boy, I made it pretty dang far out. I was not expecting that. Who's Johnny? Uh, so Johnny Silverhand, I guess it's cyberpunk spoilers, but not really. Uh, but effectively you are uh, sharing a body with a digital ghost who's slowly, uh, slowly taking hold. I never finished it, so I actually have no idea how it ends, but it didn't sound particularly interesting. I don't know. I wanted to like Cyberpunk, and I think like a lot of people were just kind of, I was kind of disappointed. Maybe I'll come back in like two years and it'll actually be amazing. Alan seems nice enough. He shows some concern. At least some consideration. I don't think he necessarily gives a damn, but he knows that we will be far more um, compliant. If if we act if he actually like works with us. Okay, advanced wiring kit. Yeah, Cyberpunk was so close to being good. It needed another like year or two, and then it would have been amazing. Okay. Oh right, we need food. Look, spinnerfish. Yeah, Alan is trying to learn from Sam. Yeah, I can see that. Holy shit, I grabbed a lot of fish to cook. Yeah, last stockholders and marketing exists. Yeah, I mean, I think I would even uh, place the bit blame for the uh, more high up, I guess. I, if I was to blame anybody specifically, I mean, stockholders are kind of the easy option, but I would say executives at CD Project Red. Uh, are equally to blame because they could have pushed back but they didn't they didn't want to okay so let's grab the quartz the lead now I need three lead I already have the glass actually okay oh I can make enameled glass And then we need one titanium bit. I should have one in one of these. There we go. There it is. There's the sea truck. I'll admit, I'm not big on the idea of the sea truck. I miss the Cyclops. I like the idea of the customization of the sea truck, technically. But maybe I just need to use it more. Okay, so I specifically want to look at modules. So I need plasteel wiring kit and three lead. I don't think I got enough silk. No, I did. Now let's get the storage module. Oh, and unpin the other one. Yeah, Polish are so good at dystopian fiction. Heartbroken that the vision was rushed. I see Runer if you don't believe me. I liked Runer to some degree, but boy, that game was frustrating to play. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, well, now that we got this sea truck, that shouldn't be too hard. I will say from like a... A design perspective. Maybe a design perspective? I think I liked the opening... The start of Subnautica 1 a little bit better, but I think so much of that just boils down to the fact that it was slower, and it really left you with that sense of mystery. And maybe it's just the fact that I, I found Alan so quickly, but they kind of guide you to it. Um, but there was a really interesting sense of kind of like... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Growing isolation. You know, you keep hearing about these, these other people crashing. Um, you know... 
you know, all, all of these other pods, and you keep looking for them, thinking, you know, hey, maybe I will, maybe I'll find somebody out here. We actually, we actually need the titanium from this. Um, but you know, you're you're just going from pod to pod to pod, trying to find somebody else that's alive, and then you eventually get in into the ship, and it's just like, oh, you know, there's there's nothing. So access upgrades, power cell. Oh, this guy comes with two power cells. That's convenient. Okay, how do I get out? That's how I get out. Here's how I'm going to access the other sections. Uh, but a bit a bit. There we go. Did I not get enough lead? Do I not have... Oh, gosh darn it. Let me double check a couple of these. That's lithium. Oh, there, there's lead. Okay. I might as well look at this storage compartment, seeing as I'm going to have to go grab a bunch of things anyway. Uh, let's see. Plasteel. Needs titanium ingot. There we go. But I do also appreciate that our character has somebody directly to talk to. And that's... No, I don't know. It's kind of a six and one half a dozen the other when it comes to... Uh, you know, plot and story-wise. I think I just really like the idea of the, the crash-landed survivor uh, narrative. Like, what is it? How many of you guys played Prey? Because admittedly, I don't think they did it well in Prey. Um, that it was a game that very much had its merits, but uh, what I liked about Prey was, yeah, once again, you were going around exploring and rescuing people. Um, and I found that to actually be quite compelling. Okay, so we don't have a fabricator yet. Oh, wow, these storage modules are tiny. Uh, that's fine, though. Wow. I'll probably just mod this so this has some extra space. Disconnect modules, exit C truck. Cool. Um, but yeah, in Prey, you would find various characters that have been... Uh, trapped, you know, in, in various rooms and whatnot. But you never really interacted with more than a handful of them. I think there was the one, le like, the one last stand segment that I think you interacted with people, but otherwise it was pretty much nothing. Yeah, the isolation aspect was one of the big selling points of OG Subnautica. Same reason why the Long Dark works so well for you. The, this feels comparatively crowded. Yeah. And it's like, I think... I think I'd prefer, I I do prefer this in the end, mainly just because uh, the crowdedness is a, is a change of pace. That if it, this was more of the same as regular Subnautica, um, maybe it would be less interesting. Yeah, there we go. It's like, it's kind of dark. I'm going to run over some fish, aren't I? I'm going to run over a lot of fish. But at least I got a vehicle now. I don't know. I I guess the other thing is just like, what am I? Uh, an hour and a half into this playthrough, and I've already got the equivalent of the sea moth. Maybe maybe you got it about that Warning. fast. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Are you kidding me? Wow. This thing's, um... Gonna be like that. Okay. So, immediate problem is... I guess we'll go back. I was hoping I could take this whole thing, um...
I was really hoping I could take this whole thing in deeper. Out of my way, fishes! Oh. Alright. That's one way to do it. But yeah, I was, I was really hoping I could take this deep. I'm gonna kill a lot of a lot of ships. Let's see, it's designed for space, which has no pressure. Oh. Yeah, the sea moths max depth wasn't much better either. No, it's true. I just I don't know. I feel like the max depth thing, you should almost be able to get rid of pretty quickly. No. Is there an upgrade that I can get almost immediately? These are modules. Nope. So if there is... Other things. I guess the real point of that is just to park it at top. At the top. Okay. Doesn't look like I got any immediate batteries. Okay, I got two. Let's just carry that with us. Okay. And make some water. Might be in your fabricator. It's true. Okay, increases safe diving, so we need plasteel ingot and enamel glass. <sighs> okay, so I have the lithium. The real answer is we just need some titanium. All right, works for me. I just gotta find some rocks. I should probably just use this. Man, I was absolutely spoiled in the first Subnautica. Uh, as far as mods went, I had one that was absolutely amazing. Uh, that effectively made it so I could just grow resources. Uh, you know, extra titanium. I should see if that mod exists uh, for this. I, I don't... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I can't imagine that it exists. In this one. It was really busted and really unique. Let me see. Do we just go down? And the thing is, I need lead more than anything else. Or not... Well, no, we we actually Warning. do need lead. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright. I'll just grab whatever. Uh, brain. Not necessarily working with me today. I haven't think... Where, where was I in this topic? I've totally lost it. Subnautica 1, Subnautica 2. Nope, it's gone. Thought is disappeared on me. It's fine. We're gonna have extra Warning. trouble. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, let's see. We're gonna have extra trouble stringing the thoughts together, probably for the rest of the night, but that's okay. I wasn't really expecting it. The game doesn't seem to make lead way more useful than the original. Yeah, I don't remember... I don't remember lead being at all... I think there was, like, maybe two recipes that needed it, and otherwise it was just a weird junk item. Well, okay. Uh, so hopefully the depth upgrade will specifically make the sea truck last longer. Something I got enough titanium from that. I didn't actually check. No, I got plenty. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go... F oh, right. ...faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings. 
each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. I will admit, it is nice having a character that is... that I can talk to, because I... To be entirely honest, I did not give one iota of a care into the main character in the previous game. Because he was no one. He he pretty much did not exist. He was he was just a vehicle for us to, com uh, to complete the plot and nothing more. This feels a lot more personal. A silent protagonist can be annoying. And sometimes vocal protagonists can be a little annoying too. Like, I've been finding with Resident Evil 8, these, the, the vocal protagonist is just like, it, like, Ethan Winters is just a dumbass, and I don't like him. Anyone remember what the main character's name in Subnautica even was? <laughs> I certainly don't. Oh, wait, no. We didn't want to do this in the fa fabricator. Okay, seriously? Oh, I need two enameled glass. Uh, well, that's actually, that's fine. Don't stab that. Ethan has stupid one-liners that gives him plus one in my book. Okay, uh, protagonist of Subnautica was Riley Robinson. Also known as just Boardman. Personalityless Boardman. But yeah, he was just an empty shell for you to inhabit. That's what most silent protagonists are. You never really invested in them. Crush depth is now 300 meters. That's. I mean, that's better. It's still not necessarily where I want it to be, but I'll take it. Alright. I love the animations hopping in into this. That's. It's cool. Yeah, that's going to be way too deep for this dang thing. There's a craft metal from Fish Mod. Well, Gemroth, you want to you want to link that on Discord? Cuz that sounds like the kind of thing that I'd very much like. A forever indebted dudeman. I wonder if he gets brought up in this game. 100% more depth is a considerable amount. Yeah, but I still needed to go up to about, like, 400. But it does get me closer. The main worry that I have is I'm going to be able to... I, I'm going to park myself right next to, um... One of the spooky duders. No, it doesn't look like it. By the way, there's a mod that specifically gives the sea truck arms, and I kind of want it. Because uh, then you can interact with stuff prawn style. Okay. So we got a couple of things I'm going to grab. Nope, that's Galena. But I want to check... Oh, that's a sea truck fragment. That's limestone. Might just want to leave my truck here. I... okay. No. I guess it won't let me access the storage, and I'm not sure why. There we go. 
Maybe I just... Oh, it was just too vertical. Well, let's just put these away. Yeah, I'm definitely going to look into some mods that increase this space. Yeah, you got to be flat. So why am I in twisty bridges again? That's an interesting question. Um, I know there's a resource that I need in the twisty bridges. Ow. Keep thinking I'm spotting more silver. I'm not. This is limestone and stuff. Okay. Am I going to be able to swing these gaps? Nope. I regret coming here. This place is not great for sea trucking. Yeah, what I should do is probably find uh, park this like directly above and then try and go down if I can. I'm glad basic collisions don't damage this thing at all. I remember people demanding the Cyclops. I'm going to miss the Cyclops just for the convenience of it. But I will say, uh, it's not, I'm not actually sure if the Cyclops would even be remotely functional here. Like, how the hell would you get any of this stuff? Or, like, get through any of this in the Cyclops? You just get stuck. Oh, you're a cool looking Odogaran thing. Okay. Mineral Big. rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Okay. Big immediate problem is there is no way I'm getting the sea truck down there. I guess that's fine. Creature egg. I don't care too much about egg. Okay. So I gotta figure out how to get down and also get oxygen. I guess I should probably save. seconds of oxygen remaining. Well, on the plus side, I found something really cool looking. On the negative side, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in here. And doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of oxygen yet. What is this place? It's cool. New creature discovered. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Or it'd be certainly great if there was another O2 plant around here. Hello? Oxygen. Yeah. Oxygen. Well, that's unfortunate. Wonder forgot to breathe. I don't really have much to breathe. 